Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is with us today. Hello! And we are redoing our first video ever, which was a top five knives with a twist. We didn't have a channel yet. and We didn't even have a table. And everybody <laughs> was running around doing the top five knives with a twist. So we wound up doing our own version of it. We it joined did, in. It didn't have the same list because technically we weren't tagged like everybody else. We didn't have a channel. <laughs> so we made up our own list. And if you guys want to watch that video, I will link it in the description. It's a good video. Um, it honestly is a good video. And you guys can see how things have changed. So first up, my user, a knife that I love to use that cuts really good and I just like cutting with it and using it is the Spyderco Gale Bradley. Its ergos are very neutral. The blade is super thin. Nice, thin, tall, deep hollow grind that just blazes through stuff. And yeah, it just works so good. Not the best action, but damn it, does it cut No, good. leave it closed. You're going to take up so much room with your big knives. Okay. Okay. Mine. And the twist will explain it when we get there. Just like the original video. Always talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is my user. The one that I just like to use because I like to use it. Um, this thing just cuts well and I love the choil. It gives me that grip where I just, not to steal your word, but can blaze through things. Um, I just really like it. And you know, it's kind of a sleeper because sometimes I forget about it because it looks a little bit just average normal but man it's it is a sleeper knife i'm telling you guys it is great and i would use this any day over a lot of other knives okay this is my side right here yep next is carrie so this is a knife that you who's carrie <laughs> did i make the joke in the original yeah yeah you did I sure did. So, <laughs> carry is a knife that you will carry anywhere. Um, not necessarily the best. It doesn't have to be the best user, but it'd be a knife that you would carry anywhere. If, you know, you named a place, it'd be a knife that you would carry with you. You'd be proud and of it. And maybe it carries good in the pocket. It's a good carry. So, I'm picking, actually, the name carries in it, the Quiet <laughs> Carry Waypoint, which one it's completely rust proof so i don't have to worry about corrosion or anything like that two it's super slim in the pocket it's very deep you practically lose it in your pocket like you don't even know you have a knife on you but when you pull it out you got a full-size knife nice hollow grind but the one problem is, is i do have to send this in but since it's my fault right now i'm still going to use it but i almost didn't because of that reason because it does have a little lock rock <laughs> but uh, but Quiet Carry did say that they would take care of it for me, and I just haven't mailed it in yet. Are they going to so, take care of it quietly? Quietly, yes. Okay. All right, next. Okay, that is going to drive me nuts. Which side are we doing, clip or no clip? Doesn't matter. When we lay them down, you pick a side. Okay. okay. Boom. So they lay flat. She's crazy, guys. She's crazy. Go. Mine is the fire ant with my custom anodization job mm -hmm. i did this that is right uh no this is one that i would carry anywhere because it fits in my pocket that's a big factor when it comes for my picking there's a lot of knives i might like better than this but at the end of the day uh first of all i do love this knife second of all it really is something that i can and would carry anywhere because not only is it Something I'm proud of if someone were to ask to see my knife. But it's also something that is very usable. It's not the most scary looking either. Like, you know, to pull out in front of other non-knife people. So it's got a lot of versatility. It's my perfect size. It cuts well. It's just, it's there. All the... The Kaiser Fire Ant. Yeah. And she doesn't really like deep carry clips. Not always. Sometimes she does. Obviously, she's got one here. But usually, she doesn't like deep carry clips because of the little tiny girl pockets. Yeah, it makes them sit deep. Next up, Little Giant. Me. A knife that's small but big. So, I wound up picking the Medford My. Heiress because I almost actually picked the Techno 2, but then I thought about it, and I this one's just so much smaller and... And bigger all at once. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's such a big little knife. It's so beefy. It's kind of like this is a little giant. Like, that's a perfect name for this knife. It is just a little tank. So, there you go. So, I was going to pick the McBee. However, I switched. Spider-Call McBee. Go ahead, keep talking. The reason why I switched is this. 
if you'd move, um, <laughs> 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 um, is this the uh, best tech goblin? Not to be confused with the Covenant goblin. This is the best tech goblin. Okay. Um, the reason why I chose this over the McBee is because um, I'm looking at the definition of little giant a touch differently. Um, this is a very small knife. The thing that makes it giant, it is thick, it's beefy, it's titanium, it's strong material, all that good stuff. However, I'm looking at the giant part as what it can do. And I have probably used this knife more than most that I carry. Um, I love the choil. It allows it to act as a bigger knife than what it is because it gives you a bigger grip even though it's such a small knife and its cutting ability with that kind of worn sheep's foot sort of blade going on really makes it usable in so many areas that you never thought possible um and so it makes itself known and big and present in different ways even though it's very small all right now the fighter a good kn a knife that you'd want in a knife fight or a knife that would you'd prefer to have, I guess, in a last-ditch effort of survival in a knife fight. I was going to pick the Microtech SOCOM Elite. I almost picked this, but then I thought about it, and I said, wait a second. This what? actually is called the Fighter. This is the USMC Fighter by Medford, the Medford USMC Fighter. And even though this might not actually be the the best knife to be in a knife fight with it definitely wouldn't be the worst um, <laughs> <laughs> might be the most intimidating it's though. very intimidating it's very beefy it does have a palm a pommel to bash with um it's got a deep hollow grind it'll definitely cut really well and yeah that's a big knife you do not want to get uh, poked up with that so this is the one I'm going to pick, the USMC Fighter. Let me just say one thing, though. The review coming up really soon on this. This thing's not a half or not half bad as a self-defense knife, not just because of the button. Actually, not at all because of the button. And if you watch the review, you'll see why. Um, so for me, I actually picked this Hinder, which is a Hinder X18. Um, Three inch. Three inch. That's what it is. Um. Now, the spear point with the fuller. The reason I picked this is because one, obviously, it has a point that's always good for fighting. Um, yeah, it's not the thinnest in the world. Um, I'm thinking a bit differently. One of the biggest things, especially being female with strength involved and stuff like that, is I don't want to lose the knife out of my hand. And the way that this choil is lined up with the um, flipper tab hanging down right there, like this thing is not coming out of my hand with the jimping here. The flipper tab there, like, it just feels so secure in my hand that I just feel like, I mean, obviously, like, I, if I was really fighting, I probably You'd wouldn't want, want yeah, right. it there. But even if, with that said, that flipper tab being there, it's the same thing. It's not coming out of my, my hand, you know? And then if you look for the pullback, this grooveture, which is my <laughs> new word, um, it, also really helps this point right here it really locks in my hand and i could just i can just feel you know what i'm saying there's a difference between that and you know something else like this where that oh my gosh that that could get ripped out of my hand so easily compared to the hinderers so that's why i picked the hinderers because i'm just thinking from a standpoint of where i might be the weakest which is um just like hand strength so i don't want it to go anywhere all right um by the way that was the Civivi elementum button lock um, so the next one is the looker. I picked Jared. And, <laughs> um, the knife that you think just looks so good. It's a good looking knife and it's your style of knife. Your kind of knife. Yeah. Okay, baby. Uh, I guess I'll go first. <laughs> um, <laughs> so going first I time. couldn't pick, man. I was trying to pick so hard and I was going to pick the Spartan Harsey. This thing is so sexy looking to me. I love the way <gasps> this thing looks. Then I went to, um, then I was thinking like, I was thinking of so many different knives, but the one I wound up picking is the Shuro Gora F3R. Could. And I said, man, yeah, this is totally just such a sexy looking mm -hmm. knife. Just, just such a good looking knife. And I, 
Like I said, I was going to pick so many other knives. There were so many to pick from. And also, the review of this is coming up soon. And I also got the, the carbon fiber version. And even though this is probably the better knife, Look at I it. just love the frag pattern of the titanium. Oop, hitting Ooh, the camera. Frag like the pattern <laughs> of the titanium. I think this looks so good. Um, yeah, I guess it's so yeah. hard because she's sitting here showing me this right now and i i want to i want to switch right now i really I know. do what is wrong because like i know you love a plain titanium knife but that's a plain titanium knife with a little flare and it's not too flashy okay whatever let's go to the next whatever one. mine is this what pow um could not be more different than jared's pick at all <laughs> um i love its mechanical look i love its beefy little stabby pointy look i love the color which is what this is based off of is the look i just i love downward tips i love blue purple colors blue green purple all that part of the color spectrum and that's like literally what this knife is made of is that and i mean come on you can, this is like blinding you can't look at that and not be attracted to it at least a little bit even if you wouldn't pick this as like your knife you can't deny that like wow that is a really pretty anno and it's just overall design is just really unique compared to a lot of knives okay so the last one is the twist Ooh. Like our original video, the twist is a gift knife. Your favorite gift knife <clears throat> that somebody has gifted you. And this is so hard for me right now because we have a lot of gift knives. This community has been so amazing to us. So, so amazing to us. Actually, technically, most of what's on this table right now is a gift. If not all yeah, of them. Yeah, these all three not, were gifts for me. These were all gifts except for, I think, this one. Uh, anyways. No, you got this for me. That's what I just said. I just mean like from other people. Oh, yeah. Like, and this one. I bought Oh, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Lots of gifts and everybody's been so awesome to us. So, I'm going to say. Wait, and can I preface this just really quick with saying that like this has nothing to do with like the people that gave it to us or anything like that. Like as Jared said, we both are super appreciative. So if you've given us something like I absolutely don't want whatever we pick to determine like, Oh, they didn't like the thing. Like yeah, not at no, all. No, not no, at no. all. I just want to make that so clear. We would pick all of them if we could, but we had to pick one. So we just, yeah. And, and technically this whole list would change tomorrow. If you asked us the, the same questions again. Yeah, I could do a list like seven, eight times over for so, like the same thing. So I want anyway. to say with the twist, the, the, the rock stud. This is such an incredible gift knife. It's so expensive. This is such an expensive gift knife. It's almost impossible not to put it there. It really is. But I'm going to actually pick this one because this was a knife that... I wanted so bad, and I'm just so impressed with how much I like it. And yeah, it's just I like I said, I could flip flop this and even put the Spartan I'm here. I'm sure he did just change it right. I before. did change it. I did yeah, change he had it. Let's, not talk, Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Literally, had all right. Knife just go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, guys. We're using one microphone. If it sounds like we're pulling in and out. Um, I picked this. Olamic. The Olamic Whipper Snapper. Yeah, the Whipper Snapper, which I named Lamb Chop. I name a lot of my knives. Um, and honestly, why is it Lamb Chop? Olam. Oh, okay. Okay. Lamb okay. Chop. Okay. Um, <sighs> boys. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I picked this one because to me. Um, I thought it was really cool that one of our viewers, and maybe it was a coincidence actually, so I might be totally wrong here, but I have been interested in Olamic for a very long time, always wanted one. The one that I originally was interested in was the Busker, and then I got to handle one, and I was kind of a little let down, I'm not going to lie. But then someone gave me this for my birthday, and I was like, wow. It's truly an Olamic that, like, I love. Yeah. I love the oddness. Of so the, good. Yeah, I love the oddness of the blade shape. Like, I like weird things. But honestly, and I know this is going to sound so dumb, but I love the color. That is, like, my favorite color. I've said it over and over. Like, I love that blue-green color. 
um, or blue purple, like blurple. Like those two are like my favorite. So like this one down here and then this. That's like I love that green blue. It's beautiful. And like having a knife that was like my OG grail from back in the day and my favorite color on it, it's hard to not say that like I have to pick this one. I forgot to say this is the Medford Slim Midi. So I forgot to say that. Now, man, like I said, these knives, we could seriously flip flop 20 times and I almost want to switch some of them right now. So I'm just going to end this video before <laughs> I do. I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. We appreciate you watching. watching. And like I said, we'll link the original video in the description. My hands look so weird. The description. They look stubby. Peace. It's not a good representation Peace. of my hands.